yo, what's up? It's Jonathan here, and um, Lions Reborn. We bring in y'all Pokemon Insurgents. If you wonder what ha what the fuck happened to Zelda, there was an update video. So go check out that video if you don't know what if you know if you don't know what happened. It will be back. As a brief synopsis, it will be back. Game capture fucked up. So now we playing this game. And if you don't know what this game is, it's a fan game. Basically, they just take the whole premises of Pokemon and they turn it, you know, they try to make try to make it more than what it is. You know what I mean? Because some, some of the shit that they do in this game, you kind of can't do in the other games, you know? And they try to expand on the other games, on the real games, rather. So, but, uh... If it's like your first time seeing something like this, you definitely should check them out because there's a whole bunch of of uh of Pokemon fan games that of, are of this quality, like uh Pokemon Reborn, Pokemon uh, Rejuvenation. It's like a whole bunch of hacks, but I'm not I, I don't like the hacks as much, honestly. I don't know. They don't they don't they try I don't know. They're just weird. They don't expand. All right. So basically, what he, what that guy was, he was just like a an auger. I don't know what the hell an auger is. Um, I guess like a mayor, but like he rules the whole region, I guess. So we should pretty we could pretty much call him like the president. Okay. This whole like beginning section is kind of weird. I'm gonna be honest. Like it, it don't come out the same way. It'll come out as it should. So my name is Lions Reborn, but I couldn't fit the whole thing, so I'm gonna just put Lion. I'm probably just gonna put Lion for all the Pokemon playthroughs from now on. Yes, I'm sure. Clearly, that's my name. I mean, though, no, but I guess in the story, this this character has amnesia, so I think I'll go with the right. He looks more similar to me. I don't like the one in the one in the left isn't bad, but I don't really like the one in the middle. I don't know, like a dude with purple hair. You're gonna see later. You can like change the hair color. You can. Yeah, you, this game does a lot of cool stuff that every game should do. Honestly, oh well, not every game, but you know. All right, so these guys got like dark, dark rye um, hoods. They actually, they don't look that bad, honestly. Not that I would rock them, but. So yeah, so about that beginning section, okay, that auger, I guess the mayor or whatever. I guess he's the second one, so the first one went missing. I don't know. I, di I didn't play to the end of this, of this demo, or not demo, but I didn't. I didn't play to the end of the game. But I don't know what. I don't really. I don't know what happened to him, honestly. Definitely, that, that that question definitely will be answered later. Alright, so she's planning to kill us. Uh, I don't fucks with that. I got a life to live. Get the fuck off me. Can you, uh, can you help me out? Whatever that was. Hey, Got a mule, boy. Get about. Get the fuck out of my zone. Now, I'm not sure if this is Mew talking. You're supposed to assume that it isn't. So there's like a, there's like another person, I guess, talking through Mew. Or talking into your head. Or something. Here's the meal. Adam in nature. I mean, it's a pretty good starter Pokemon. This shit rocks. This shit really rocks. You feel me? Alright, looks like we can't open these doors. Another good thing, another thing I really like about this game is that instead of every every item being a Pokeball, in the in the on the field there as a sprite. You can actually see the potion sprite on the ground if it's a potion and not a Pokeball sprite. 
something I, I'm kind of surprised the the games haven't the real games haven't been doing that. Like you can't be lazy. You gotta you gotta go all out, especially for something like X and Y. I love how it says that Mew has an ability no one else has to transform. Uh, what is a ditto? Tell me that. Maybe there's no dittos in this region. Oh, I don't like that, boy. Clearly. So we got the DNA of the Darkrai cultist. I guess, uh... I don't know, maybe she was on her period? I don't know. But, uh... After talking to Mew, we can transform into the Darkrai cultist. So you might think that's actually pretty cool, but I'm gonna be honest, I'm gonna kind of semi-spoil it here. You don't do this, you don't use this ability that often. Like, I, I'm, I'm in, I'm about eight hours into the game and I haven't done it after this. So, a little unfortunate. I'm, I don't, I'm a, like, eight hours in and I'm, and I'm trying to fight the second gym leader. So, you know, I know, I know I'm talking about the future, but we could expect this to be a uh, pretty long pretty long game and remember just we only you know we have to play up to a certain point um if you remember i think i said it there the this uh what do you call it i guess this version this version of the game lasts until uh the jer the third gym so not, it's not that bad actually and the final boss of round level 50 bruh i'm assuming i don't know apparently Pokemon Zeta and Omnicron, apparently those go past level 100. I'm not, I haven't played those. But if that's the case, definitely we can, uh, we can expect that to, to, for it to be the same in this game. I call upon you. In return, I'll offer you the soul of this guy. <laughs> That fucking kills me. I really think they got that fucking in a cartoon somewhere. That fucking sound. That sound bite. Right? So she's just talking to, to Darkrai. Okay, so she had to talk to him and ask him to, to join the team. The team that's worshipping him. Obviously, this is the cult that the auger was talking about. But why can't you just throw a master ball at it or something? I mean, it is, it is, yeah, it's, a, it's, you know, you're not gonna see a dark ride out in the roots, you know what I mean? But it's still a Pokemon. Throw a master ball at that bitch. Oh, that bitch got a Houndoom. She better have a Mega Stone on that. Ooh. I'm gonna be honest, uh, Persephone, I think her name was, I do not like her, like, you can't just kill someone randomly just cause they, they try to cheer you up, you feel me, well, uh, but I'm out of here, definitely, fuck this, I got places to be, no, I don't, I gotta get the fuck out. I do, I think this, this, this first section isn't bad, because... It's it's not very dialogue heavy, and you all, you also learn about what exactly these cultists are doing. Here's the thing, though. Why is that? Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll mention it later. Just remember that cave, which is very easy to to enter, mind you. That that's the entrance for a dark ride cult. Directly south to it is a town. Like, huh? Has the police ever went north and found out there's the Dark Ride Cult is there? And nonetheless, the character doesn't even tell anybody. I know, you know, it's it's uh, it's not a fun, it, the whole point. I I know that a character is not supposed to talk in Pokemon. I know that's not the case. But hell, if you could have a freaking cult that sacrifices its members to summon Dark Ride for no reason and that person dies and you can use its blood to transform into him if you can do that 
nigga. Let me, let me talk. I don't know if he said his name, but this guy is Damien. Uh, he's gonna be our playmate, I guess, for the for the game. You know, like rival-ish, but uh, he's not. He's not gonna give. You, he's not a rival in the sense that he's gonna give you problems. You know, he's like May. Or, uh, Serena? Or her? No, X and Y, bitch. Alright. Honestly, I, I'm gonna be honest. The... I do like the town designs. This one's a little basic. But it's nice for a first town. And the the cities later on... They're, they're pretty well designed. Like, there's some shit you will not find in the in the real games. Like, they really put some thought into some of these, uh, into some of these cities we'll see later on. Especially, like, the cities with the gems. That's definitely where they shine. I love the drums on this song. Ah, uh, Protective Mom? Shit, sure, I mean... I'll be tired if I was him because, like, he's a boy, you know what I mean? Why are your mom trying to protect you if you're... I mean, all kids are able to go out into the world with their Pokemon in this, you know, in this in this universe. You know, fan game or not, you're still you're still allowed to do that. So why are you going to try to protect, be protective of him? It's not, it's not like he's Wally, you know? It's not like he's sick. He's weak. It's nothing like that. He's not a girl. Even girls are allowed to do whatever the fuck they want. Let the boy get. Let it go. Let the boy get his mon, man. Let the boy get his mon. I mean, he want to be like me and get a mew. All right, damn. So we could get an Eevee. Yo, y'all know I'm a really. I'm a really bug out with that Eevee, that Zephyros. If you've seen the first playthrough, you know what I'm talking about. If you haven't, I'll just explain it. Jolteon's my favorite Pokemon. So, uh... You know, damn well, I'll be searching for that Thunderstone. Is that Giovanni? Alright. So, he looks like he has three Pokemon. Okay, that, those are looking like our starters, actually. You know, usually you choose out of three. So, maybe we're not gonna get the Eevee. He spoke a little too loud. Alright, so the professor's name is Sylvan. Or Sil Silvan? Sil Sil yeah, Sylvan, I guess. I think that's a Yu-Gi-Oh deck. I haven't played Yu-Gi-Oh in a minute, so I, I wouldn't know. It's like the one with the plants. There's like... There were like plants. Not like plants, but like vegetables. Like peas, carrots and shit. Cherries and shit. I think cherry is a fruit. Is cherry a fruit or a vegetable? I don't know. I don't like fruits, so I wouldn't know. I don't know. Like, that's the weird thing about me. I can't eat fruits. I hate them. I can eat vegetables, like certain kind. Like, I don't, I don't fuck with broccoli, but like lettuce, obviously, that's not an issue. Carrots, I can eat. I can't eat tomatoes. Onions, I can barely eat. Like, I can eat like one onion, like one little slice of onion. But you can't you can't put that whole shit in my in my sandwich. Like tomato isn't that bad if the sandwich is brolic enough where I can ignore it. Like I, I had a, a Philly cheesesteak and I don't like tomatoes, but he put tomatoes in there. I, it didn't bother me because I ignored it. But if you like if you drench that shit with onions, then that that shit really ruins whatever you're whatever you're eating. Alright, so obviously, so if you've been reading, basically we have three, four choices. Three, the mons that uh, Giovanni there, whoever just left us. Let's uh, check those out. Ooh, the hell? That's how you know this is a hack. Not a hack, but ooh, that one looks like, that one's like the fan favorite. Like, that one looks really good. And this one, this one seems really useful. Fairy Psychic, that one seems really useful, but I do things for the squad, so I'm gonna pick Eevee, Zephyros. I don't give a fuck about these Delta Mons. Fuck them. Oh, I fucked that up. Hold up. Zephyros. 
that that's not like that name doesn't mean anything in particular. It's just I I like when I did the when we did the Pokemon Red playthrough. Um, I just I picked all the names by random. I'm, that's what I'm gonna do for this game as well. And uh, I got Zephyros and I liked it. So, oh, he wanna he want beef. This design isn't bad. Both the player is kind of dull, but you're able to be able to influence how he looks later on in the game. So it's not that bad. But Damien's design isn't really is not offensive at all. It's just his white hair. I mean, no, no, that's kind of weird. His father doesn't have white hair. I, his mom might, because as you if you were paying attention. The woman that's with his dad, that's not his actual mother. But it was like she was with him since he was born type shit. Like when he was like two or something. So I, my dad is actually the same way. Like he's not actually my dad. But I was like one or two or three even. Like no later than three when, when he came into my life. So, you know. I re like the way, from what I remember, he was always there. It's not like he just came in. Like, I hate people that be like, Oh, you're not my real dad, so fuck you. Man, stop being a bitch. Just accept the fact that he's fucking your mom. 